Welcome everyone, in this video we will prove the formula for finding the sum of two signs which is the formula that you see right on the board right now. So how can we prove this formula? And to do that I will start with uh, the sum of two signs and as the arguments I will have for the first sign I will have alpha plus beta oops alpha plus beta and then plus for the second sign I will have alpha minus beta and you might be wondering how you know how these two are connected how can we arrive at the uh, desired equation well I think it is uh, best it can be best understood by seeing it you know me t talking about it wouldn't do a lot of good I believe so let's just do some uh, calculations, expand these two terms, and you will understand what is going to happen by the end. So, uh, if we use the sum formula for finding, if we use the uh, sine formula for finding the sum of uh, two angles, for the first term, for the first term, we get sine of alpha times cosine of uh, beta plus cosine of alpha times sine of beta this was our first term and then we have a plus here well yeah okay let's keep it a plus we have a plus there and we have sine of alpha times cosine of beta minus cosine of alpha times sine of beta we can make some simplifications. For example, we see that these cosine of alpha times sine of beta terms cancel. So, so uh, we get two sine of alpha times cosine of beta. And well, now we will make two definitions. We will define alpha as we will define alpha, alpha as x plus y divided by 2. And we will define beta as x minus y divided by 2. And perhaps you are seeing where we are going with this. And let me write beta a, more, a bit nicer. You might be seeing where we are going with this. And if, it, if that is the case for you, Jan, then please stop the video and try to uh, carry out the rest of the proof by yourself. Okay, so if you continued or didn't stop at all, that is fine as well. We get 2 sine of x plus y divided by 2. I am just substituting for alpha and beta and then times cosine of x minus y divided by 2. So this is, this thing in the box is equal to this sum. And let's here, let's also substitute for alpha and uh, beta in terms of x and y and see what we get so we have sine of x plus y divided by 2 plus x minus y divided by 2 and then plus sine of x plus y divided by 2 then minus so i'm going to make the plus but switch the signs here y minus x divided by 2 this will be equal to sine of well these y's cancel we have 2x divided by 2 we have x then plus this well what cancels let's see this x and this x cancels we have y over 2 plus y over 2 then this is 2y over 2 which is just y so we have sine of y which means which means this part is equal to sine of x plus sine of y and we showed that it is equal to this as well which is if you look at our original formula is exactly what we wanted to show so we actually we actually concluded our proof here this is a very very useful formula i believe and it comes a lot when you are trying to solve problems in physics or you know just you have a complicated looking equation in math it can really simplify things 
I hope you found I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.